You talk about instinct with accommodation. I think that's really important. Let's look at the high end of the risk environment because I think there's a lot of really interesting questions posed there. So I'll talk about Baghdad. Um, I recently did a, a trip there with a, a writer and initially we went for a very well secured sort of compound area but it was too much for him because he had multiple contacts he wanted to meet on a daily basis and the layers of security that were there although we felt very safe they just weren't comfortable and he, people weren't coming to see him so he said well we've got to change this I want to go and stay here so we went to a hotel and it had good security outside you know everyone was checked the vehicles were checked there was the, the feel of people being searched inside. And we went to stay there for, I, th I think, uh, three nights. We were very comfortable. But we just didn't quite feel right. It didn't fit with the rest of the environment. It was too nice, too comfortable. And I could see why foreign nationals would want to stay there. I could see why rich, wealthy, local individuals, government figures, business figures would go there. And, you know, that was just something I wasn't comfortable with. I prefer to be more discreet and low-key myself a lot of the time. But it was fine. We stayed. Um, 24 hours after, after we left, um, it, was, it was attacked on a large scale. Multiple car bombs. Many, many people dead. I think perhaps we let the, the judgment for what the journalist wanted to achieve, I think we let that override our safety considerations in that particular point. And I think perhaps that was, you know, we were lucky. And I think really um, what that shows me is that when you have that feeling, you have that slight, something isn't quite right here, that imbalance, that slight shift in your stomach, I think you should trust that, you should act on it.